So you talked about um, DJing in school, and, and I just want to fast forward for a minute because this is where your story for me gets so inspiring and impressive. Um, Wharton Business School at UPenn. How does a young man from the, now I'm from the Bronx, mm -hmm. you know, most people in the inner city, most young men and women in the inner city, we're not necessarily, yes, we're groomed to go to college, but Wharton Business, that's something different. Congratulations on that. How did you end up there and were you always good with numbers and finances? Is this something you knew from an early age? Yeah. So uh, again, I go back to my parents. Neither one of them graduated from college, but they were very academically oriented. Um, so I used to go work for my dad, and basically the, the job was mechanics on the weekend. Okay. And I was basically two, whatever, four thumbs, whatever. <laughs> I was like not good at doing the mechanical stuff, so he put me in the office. So around 11 or 12, I started really keeping his books. So I immediately, I always loved numbers, but I just loved that. I love like keeping his books, figuring out how much money he made that week, how much money came in, how much money came out, what did he make. So, so even as a young man, and I'm sorry to cut you yeah. off, as a young man, this is something that just interests you. Absolutely. Really? And, I, and I just always loved and was really good at math. My uh, academic success, again, you know, largely driven by confidence my parents gave me, my, my brother and sister and family support. Um, you know, I went to public schools in the Bronx but I got skipped uh, from the third grade to the fourth grade, uh, and then also got skipped in a program that was a um, SP program. So I did seventh, eighth, and ninth grade in two years. So I, uh, I graduated high school at 16. Wow. And went to UPenn Wharton School at 16. So all that to say, I didn't know much about college choices. When I was, you know, this is, you know, I'm 16, I'm getting ready to go to college, and I'm honestly just thinking about where can I play ball? <laughs> you know, like, like, I'm like, where am I going to be able to make the team? So I'm sending films on my own to like Boston College, all these schools I could never play at. And, um, you know, um, and a friend of mine um, who graduated the year before me, um, I went to Stuyvesant High School. A friend okay. of mine graduated the year before me, went to UPenn, telling me about the business program there. So I applied, um, did not really knowing about Wharton, not really knowing it's like the best business school in the country. Um, and, um, you know, I got into uh, a lot of different schools, but I got into Penn, Syracuse, Boston College. And I remember uh, having a good conversation with the Boston College coach. Uh, my sister was going to Syracuse. So I was really, UPenn was kind of like an afterthought, like, mm -hmm. mm, maybe I'll go there. Uh, and then ultimately I decided to go there largely because they gave me the best financial aid package. So I show up on campus and honestly I'm just learning about what I'm really stepping into when I show up as, 16 year, as a 16 year old on this campus and realizing you know, this is, you know, some, you know, just in, you know, number one business school in the country. I'm seeing like the competition that I'm going to be <laughs> dealing with. And uh, honestly, um, it was, I, I wasn't, I, I can't say <laughs> that I selected that based on the right information and did it the right way, but, you know, I ended up there and basically had to adapt. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.